So here in Final Cut Pro 10 today, we're gonna to have a look at how we drag and drop clips down to the timeline. We'll also look a little bit at how we edit those clips once they're on the timeline, along with a couple of other tips and tricks. So we have a library set up here with a project timeline. Um, it's a 1080p project timeline, and we have some clips that we're gonna edit down to the timeline. And really, we're just gonna run through some of the technical aspects of how we do this. So the first and easiest way to, to bring your clip down to the timeline is just to click on it and drag it down to the timeline. So once you have it down on the timeline, we can make lots of changes to that clip. We can shorten it, we can lengthen it, and then at this point, we can apply things such as effects to it. So it's not really until you get those clips down to the timeline that you can actually add effects to your clips or to your edit. Um, so we've selected a, an entire clip there. Um, if we come to this clip here, then you can see we've got a, a selection of that clip. Now, if I just click here, you can see we can modify that selection. And we can also make a new selection by hovering over it and you can see the red line here um, we have scrubbing turned on here allows us to drag out a selection and we can see the duration that that selection of that clip is going to be so at the moment around four seconds of clip so if we select that we can then drag that down to the timeline we can also select multiple parts of one clip as well so if we come down here to some of these surfing clips you can see i've selected multiple sections of this particular clip. So I'm just gonna click on this clip and hold down the Alt key and tap X and that's gonna remove those selections. And in order to do that, I can make a selection can come ahead in time, hold down the command key, make a new selection. And now you can see we've got two selections in that clip and then I can hold down the command key again and make a new selection. And again, we can grab all of those and drag them down to the timeline. So we're gonna get those three sections of that clip edited down to the timeline individually as we can see them up here. Now, when we edited a clip down to the timeline, you can see we get these orange bars that show us what we have edited down to the timeline. So we can keep going. So we can make new selections, drag them down to the timeline. We can also use some shortcuts as well. So if we come ahead here, okay, hovering over the clip here, if I tap the shortcut I, it's gonna mark an in point on my clip. I'll just scroll down here a little bit. And then if I come across that clip and We'll press O and it's gonna mark an out point. So I can use the shortcuts I and O hovering over the clip up here to add clips to the timeline. Now, once those clips are on the timeline, um, I can drag them around. So I can grab this clip and I can reshuffle it so I can put it in a different position. I can do the same with any clip. And you can see the magnetic timeline here means that you never end up with any black gaps or empty spaces on your timeline. If we wanna delete um, a section of footage, we can highlight it and then press the backspace key. We can also replace footage on the timeline as well by dragging and dropping. So if I find a replacement clip here, so I'm gonna drag out a section of clip there. If I'd now drag that down to the timeline and hover over one of the clips that's already there and let go, it's gonna offer up these options of whether I wanna replace that clip and replace it from the start, which means it's gonna replace it and try and keep the duration of that clip. And we're just gonna do the basic replace rather than some of these other options for the moment and that will replace that clip on the timeline and you can see the timeline shorten there because the new clip was slightly shorter than the old clip we can also drag connected clips down to our timeline as well so if i come up here and we'll mark out a new selection so the first thing i'm going to do is just do alt and x on the keyboard just to remove that selection that i had there before and i'm going to drag out a selection and then i'm going to pull this down to the timeline and instead of going down in between these two clips i'm going to hover above and you can see i can let that clip drop down there as a connected clip so the way these stacks kind of like a deck of cards so the topmost clip is going to obscure the clips behind now if we add something like audio to our timeline so i'm going to come to the audio up here uh, and the sound effects then we can see that we have our audio clip if we click and hold on that when we drag this down to the timeline um, if we let go it's going to drop below the video so video can be put above or in fact below if we don't want it to be visible so if we want the wave here to be visible rather than this video of the surfboards we can drop it below so we'd just be wanting the audio from that clip in that instance but for audio it's always going to drop below your video so we've got these few different options for drag and drop editing down to the timeline this is one of the basic skills that you'll need as you're beginning to to work in final cut pro 10 and then once you have your clips down on the timeline, we can begin to work with the select tool and do things like shortening our selections of our clips or lengthening them. And you can see the timeline is lengthening as I'm lengthening 
my clip or shortening as I'm shortening my clip. Um, and these are some of the basic tools that we have when we're beginning to edit clips down to the timeline. We can also disable clips as well. So if I click on this clip and I wanna just see how it plays back without that connected clip there, I don't need to remove it. I can highlight it and then right click on it and go to disable clip. You can see the shortcut for that is V and that will mean that that clip is there, but it's not being used at the moment. So I can keep it in the timeline um, and have it enabled or disabled by right clicking on it. And there are some other options there as well for right clicking on clips to change some of the properties of your video on the timeline. So this is a quick introduction into how to drag and drop footage down to the timeline. Really some of the basic things you'll need to know as you start out when you're working with Final Cut Pro 10. And in future tutorials and some of my other tutorials, I deal with more advanced techniques, more advanced editing techniques, and certainly learning each of the different tools that you're working with will be really useful. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to leave a message below and I look forward to seeing you on this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.